Uh, uh, scrimmages only. Scrimmages. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, I guess official exhibition game. No. Obviously. Um, so you feel like the team's ready to go and uh, prepared to go up north and face uh, Oregon. Does the coach ever say that they're prepared <laughs> before the first game? Um, ready or not, it is. We're we're moving in the right direction. We had a great week of practice and saw some real great growth with our program. Uh, in the last week, and we're hoping that we get the same kind of growth this week in practice. Uh, I think we last talked to you a couple of weeks ago, and you said you guys had about half the team out with various injuries. Hopefully, people have recovered. I mean, what's the, the status? Here? Well, we're getting some people back and losing some people. It seems on a daily basis, it's always a question mark for us. But uh, Santiago will be ready to go on Sunday for us. Uh, Brittany Woodard, we're hoping we get her back this week for practice and hopefully she'll be able to compete in Sunday's game. Uh, Jonay Irvin is day-to-day uh, -day right now with a Achilles injury. So we're hobbling and uh, in some places and strong in other places. So I feel like we're going to be fairly well represented as far as the majority of our roster will be included. So talk about Oregon, the opportunity Oh, it's an incredible opportunity. We have obviously two teams that are really geared towards the running game. Obviously uh, for Oregon, Paul Westhead, who's done this before a few times in his career, leading Loyola Marymount and, of course, uh, Oregon and the Phoenix Mercury to championships. He is uh, spearheading their attack there at, with the Ducks. And uh, one of my former assistants, Shandrika Lee, is also his assistant. Uh, averaging 81 points or 79 points a game and one of the top teams in the nation to put points on the board. We're very similar as far as getting up and down the court. So uh, it won't be a slow down game, I don't feel. I think we're, it's going to be a bit of a track meet and we're trying to get ourselves in the best preparation for that track meet. And, and uh, when you combine that with the, the game at the USF, just, you know, how key is it just to get off on the right foot and, and you know, put in a couple of good performances and, and just start the year with uh, a couple of wins? But I mean, just playing well. And, well, we really want to continue to prove every single day that we're either in practice or in a competition. And obviously, we're building towards trying to return to a championship uh, level. And that is our primary goal. But it is a day-to-day -day basis. And we're just trying to get a little bit better in different areas every single day. Can you talk about what it's been like to have Christina back? And is, is she different when she's able to play compared to last year when she's not able to play? Hallelujah. 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 Um, Christina is playing some awesome ball. And uh, to see her on the court is so satisfying as a coach to see a player whose whole dream has been to hoop it up and take her game as far as she possibly can. And she's playing phenomenal basketball. Her ability is to go back to the basket or to stretch out the defense. Now she's added a three-point shot to her game. Uh, her handles continue to improve. There's so many aspects to her game that are uh, I think going to be surprising to some of the opposing coaches and, and players because she just continues to add depth to her game. You guys have already made a name for yourselves, you know, with little old Big West. You know, it, it, how great would it be to, to make a name for yourself more nationally? And is that kind of part of the maybe kind of going there with a the chip on your shoulder a little bit and say, we're not just some little team from the middle of nowhere, we're going to go actually be, be a force this season? Well, obviously, it's a great opportunity for us to get kind of some kind of exposure here on the West Coast to play against a team like Oregon, and uh, we're hoping that we compete well. And then finally, for me, um, can you talk about, I know you've got some players that are going to play this season that didn't play a year ago. Can you maybe choose one of them and kind of let us know about, uh, about her as a player and what we expect? Well, uh, there's, I can't just pick one. Yeah, can I get, like can you give me more? Kid. I know. Uh, how about, I, I know you've got a, you've got a point guard. Ariana Elegato is somebody who uh, really has tremendous passing skills. She can shoot the three as well. We'd love her to shoot a little bit more than what she's doing right now, but her on the court as far as making decisions and creating and having a little bit of showtime out there, she's a ton of fun to watch.